Morning everyone. I'm a little bit sad because today is the last day that I will be trying on any new wedding dresses, I guess. I am gonna go back <coughs> and try on like the ones that I've liked so far, probably. Maybe I'll just try on one, I don't know. Um, but I am meeting a designer, she's a couture designer called Ruth Milliam in London today. And I'm gonna be trying on some of her dresses. Now her dresses are completely different to the ones that I've been trying on so far. So I've tried on Kate Halfpenny. They're quite, they, they give me more of like a high fashion feel whereas Suzanne Neville was quite classic and quite bridal and um, amazing. And then today is quite dramatic and theatrical and different. I've tried to do like some different um, designers and go to some different places than was expected, I guess. Just do something a bit different. And I, I did look. <laughs> but um, yeah, Ruth has come to London and I'm gonna be trying on some of her dresses today. This is the first time that we're also able to have like champagne. We haven't had champagne at all at any of the uh, appointments because they've been in the morning. It's so annoying. <laughs> but um, today should be good fun. It's a Friday as well, so why not? Uh, I'm dressed, I'm ready, everything's packed. I had a good night's sleep. I'm enjoying my makeup. It's a good day, it's a good day. Let me show you what I'm wearing even though you've seen it already. <laughs> Outfit for today is this denim dress that I got from net a -Porte, which I am absolutely loving by the way. It is so cute. I'm gonna wear this for a very long time, so you're probably gonna see a lot more of it, but it's just so easy to like pop on, and it just looks so good. And I love the way it's not like fitted, it, but it's still like, you still don't look huge in it. I was worried that I was gonna feel really big in it, but due to the sort of like A-line shape of it, it's really flattering, really flattering. Oh, I love it so much. Um, then I've got my Louis Vuitton bag and my Louis Vuitton boots because they're super comfortable. I have some shoes in my bag to try on with the dresses. Um, but I'm really excited. Oh, the, I think I've had the most fun doing this, even though like, I don't feel like I've had that moment where I'm like, oh my God, yeah, the dress. I don't think I was gonna because obviously I've like worn long white dresses before. So I think that maybe like I've seen myself in dresses, not like these ones, but really, really nice dresses. So I don't know, maybe, Maybe I will have it, maybe I'll have it today. Don't rule it out, Lydia, don't rule it out. <laughs> but it's gonna be fun, and because it's just like me and friends going, it'll probably be really enjoyable as well. <laughs> you all right? What music are you listening to? I don't to? know, I was actually watching my phone, it sounds a bit embarrassing. <laughs> What's your name today? I'm Kare and Kari. She's taking the piss out of you. <laughs> she was, it was the same girl. She's like, sorry, what's her name again? I was like, I come here every day. Yeah. <laughs> So, we finished up, we had a meeting early on this morning, but I didn't feel like I needed to vlog that. We finished it, and now we're in the Knightsbridge area. We're about to go and have a little sort of wander around Harrods, because um, we've got some time to kill before the actual like bridal appointment. Um, but we have just gone and had a quick peek at some things, and it looks amazing, I'm so excited. This is like the dramatic one, I think. This is gonna be the most like dramatic of all of them. Um, but yeah, until that point, we're gonna go and just have, you've got a dress to pick up. Yep. Um, I'm gonna try and find myself a, a hen party outfit, which that'll be fun as well, won't it? I can vlog that as well. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go to Harrods right now. Ugh. So we've been to Reese. Did you get your dress? <laughs> she got her dress. Now we're just having a mooch around the shops for me. I'm trying to find a replacement vanity case because you know the black one that I always use, the mirror smashed when I came back from Norway. So I'm trying to find another one but I can't seem to find one. They don't um, have mirrors in. None of them have mirrors in. Who makes vanity cases that don't have mirrors in? But yeah, we're just having a little uh, shop around at the moment. We're just going on to Sloan Street and uh, we're gonna have some look in the shops there. I said 20 minutes ago. Yeah, we're just paying. <laughs> so, oh, did you see that? I need yes. to get a new camera. It keeps like, yeah. Anyway, we just had like the best experience in Louis Vuitton ever. I found my person. We love Daniels. Can you tell Daniel. she's had a glass of champagne? <laughs> but um, yeah, no, we just we just had like the best 
time. We must have spent like an hour and a half in Louis Vuitton. It was really nice. And it was really funny. We were being served by this guy and he was Italian. And usually like when you say to Italian people that you're Italian as well, they're like, oh my God. And he was like really stern about it. And I was like, oh, it's not the usual like reaction from Italian people. And then, and then it turns out that he Liddy was looking at the back of the mirror. <laughs> and he was like, oh, so what are you two doing today? And I was like, oh, well, we've got like a, we're trying on wedding dresses, but like there's a bit of a mix up with some of the wedding dresses, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, hang on, that sounds really, really weird. I need to explain. So she's on YouTube and he went, oh my God, I know. <laughs> I'm like the biggest fan. God, it was so funny. Anyway, I can't remember yeah. why I opened this. Oh yeah, Carrie's just decided she's buying her first designer handbag, so. Um, oh no, it's not my first one. I had bought one from before when I was like 18. Which one was that? Chloe Paddington. Oh yeah. Okay, so her first one now. Oh, Thank you. My card. Um, sorry? No. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Um, sorry, we're just paying. We're going into Blake's now to try on wedding dresses. I'm so excited. Yeah, it is. It, it, there's normally an option for tips. Oh, you have to put the card in to do that. Oh, thanks. Up there. She's tipping the taxi driver because she thinks he's hot. <laughs> usually wear because they stick to the dresses. Yeah. That's problems. I love that Twitter front page. So we've arrived at Blake's in London and I'm here for my final, final dress appointment. And I'm here with Ruth, Ruth Milliam. I've always got to make sure that I get people's names right because I always say things wrong. And I, I think I have to say that this is probably the one that I've been most excited about because I've tried to showcase not your standard wedding dresses and I didn't want to have a standard wedding dress and I think that this is the one where we've gone all out so I'm so excited to try some of these on there's like ruffles and fabric everywhere and I'm just I can't wait to try one of them on so I'm not going to wait around anymore I'm going to grab myself a glass of champagne because this is the first time that I'm getting to have champagne on a bridal appointment and I'm going to try some dresses on thanks cheers guys <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> I love the way you're walking it as well. Yeah. The feathers look so awesome as you move. Do they? They really do. <laughs> I'll hold the mirror up in a minute. I'm just totally in awe right now. <laughs> I love the low back of this as well. Back is where I think I can have fun. Yeah. I wouldn't like go anywhere else. I'd just go. You can in. go lower as well. Yeah. You can go like right to the top, can't you? Like a yeah. little coccyx. <laughs> yeah. Really nice. It's beautiful. But you could have that lace with the other skirt. In really? The right, I'm going to put the mirror back a second. With like mm. a, a bit of this and then ruffle as well. Although I do, I'm, I am loving this. The like the, the froth is. <laughs> it's like coffee film. Yeah, but it's just, it just looks like it just happened. Do you know what I mean? I love I love the way that it looks effortless and mm. not too tried. Oh, you know, like when you see the dresses that have to be zhuzhed mm. to look good, I prefer the ones that just kind of look Ooh. good where, however they fall. But um, yeah, no, this is amazing. Darn hot. The back is... You could go slightly lower as well. Shit fetish. There. But I think I'd probably, this is probably the lowest. God, both But the other of option these is so that far. you have the nude going lower and then just like a sheer panel. Of beading. Of beading yeah. there. I love it that I just haven't tried on anything like this either. I love mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Like I've done three different types and it's just. Yeah. I've kind of done boho y. Yeah. Classic. And now we're doing like the dramatic. Like free in this. You're like floaty. Yeah, super crazy. But there's no time for steaming with uh, today. Oh, bless you. It's all right. I quite like them a little bit creased. That's yeah, a, a little crazy, bit crazy. No, but, but a I little don't bit like imperfect. That. Yeah. I don't like that trim and proper. Wow. I just can't believe how light they are. Like it's just like. Yeah, they look like they're going to weigh a ton, don't they? Yeah. These dresses also go with my style of jewellery a lot, like my ears. Yeah. Mm. The way that my ears are. Lydia, like, the cuff that she's got in, she wants to wear on the wedding day. It fits your style. Everything that you've tried on so far fits your style. Yeah. It's amazing just to, that it can be this sort of amazing, but yet so light. 
Uh, that's the thing that I'm like amazed about is that it's just I feel like free. That like, you could completely. I really like this. I, so I actually, I also love the neckline really of it, and the. Does it zip at the back or is it open? I can't see. It stays open like that. Mm -hmm. That's gorgeous. Your skirts, you, d you have a way of making skirts look... Like, again, they just fall. Yeah. And it's just like... Is uh, it because you you use the lighter material and it yeah. just... It so that's a silk organza. So it keeps that fullness, but it's quite sheer. It's and beautiful. Because the way it even curls at the bottom, it doesn't look messy. No. Like you said, it falls in the most beautiful way. How do you feel in this one? It feels actually a lot like nicer than I thought it would. Like I think it's actually something that I would potentially consider. It feels so appropriate for the time of the of yeah. The year. That, I think that's what I'm thinking. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, that's what I think. It's like this is definitely I'm winter. Gonna show, I'm just going to show the detail because you can't see it on film properly. It looks incredible. It yeah, I agree. It definitely feels so appropriate for the time of year. Ah, another one you look phenomenal in. <laughs> <laughs> you stabbing yourself every time you move. Okay. Yeah. Let me know if they do something. No, 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 no. <laughs> this feels so like, ooh. It's the slightly eccentric one. Yeah, which you can totally get away with. And with the thing that's already been purchased for us. Oh, God damn, you look incredible again. I love, I love that you've got the fabric pinned in so we can just see a full line of nude. Full line of nude, Naked. right down there. Ooh. Nikki, Nikki. Ruth's in the process of finishing the design on this one and she's bought it so Lydia can see. But we're literally, we've got, what is it, hang, like hankies and stuff covering your modesty right now. It, this would actually all be lined with this. Which looks amazing. So but then when she turns around, you can see the full, the full butt. Nikki line. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Try on more dresses. Let's try on more dresses. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love the colour of it as well. It's like I'm obsessed with nude, mm. and this is almost like the nude shade of wedding dresses, isn't it? It's amazing that you can just lift. You can just sort of like you can. Yeah, you can lift it up and just. And it still should be quite light. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Like sometimes it can be sort of like a scoop. But with this, it's literally just, you can like throw it around and it works really nicely. And then we dye the veil to match. You're literally, yeah, you're moving it really, really beautifully. Moving. Yeah, like to, good word. Waft. Good to waft. Waft like and waffle. With my wedding dress. Eating waffles. Yeah. While waffling. <laughs> yeah. It's more of a hair up. Yeah, actually, that's right. That's why people go for hair up. But it's something that I wouldn't have even like thought to try. To try. But it's actually beautiful. You kind of have this misconception that like crystals are a bit meh. And then you actually put them on and you're like, wow, I feel amazing. Yeah, it's so much fun. Sparkly yeah, Princess Bride. So if you're having that much of a front, yeah. I would say if you're gonna have anything in your hair, go towards the back. You hadn't even thought about that yet, had you? No. Oh wow, yeah. That's amazing. Wow, that's really pretty, isn't it? It's beautiful. Morning everyone! I've been up since six. I have been to the gym, I've showered, I've got dressed but I haven't done my makeup yet. I'm gonna do that in a bit. I'm actually waiting for some deliveries today, which um, I'm very, very excited about. All bridal related, which is great. Um, bit sad that yesterday was the last day that I was trying on wedding dresses though, but I literally would have just kept trying on dresses until my wedding day and then I wouldn't have had a dress. So I had to kind of cap it. And I felt like I showed you a nice, like diverse 
um, selection of designers. But I think I've got the dress now, which makes me feel excited and nervous. And I also like chatted through with Ali last night because I also felt like I didn't really know what he liked in dresses. And obviously I'm not gonna show him the dress that I like, but I wanted to know what he liked. And I thought he would have liked one style of dresses and it turns out he doesn't like them. And that makes me feel so much better because I didn't like them either. <laughs> so we're on the same page, it's great. But today I am getting my hen party dress that's arriving and also a new skincare regime. I have teamed up with Colt Beauty and I've locked down my skincare routine for the run up to my wedding. I I don't know what it is. I feel like I am constantly chopping and changing between products and I wanted to get something that I know was working towards having really luminous, like hydrated and radiant skin. Cause I don't think I've got like, in terms of texture wise, I think I've got not too bad skin and I'm wearing the least amount of foundation that I've ever worn in my life. So I kind of wanna keep moving with that and I'm not getting any younger. I know I always say that, but um, I decided to do a little bit more research into my skin and I picked Caroline Hiron's brain a little bit. I've been reading her blog and like getting to grips with routines a little bit more as well. And um, yeah, so I just picked a load of products and basically picked anything that had the word glow illuminate radiance and hydrate in the name <laughs> i basically picked everything that had that in it from cult beauty's selection and i am so so excited to have this locked now really really excited i'm also going to be seeing um, a regular either dermatologist or facialist as well i'm looking for one in my area but if not i'm going to go to the one that caroline recommended i could have spent hours on cult beauty if i'm perfectly honest they have the most incredible selection of like curated products also lesser known brands and products that you know work and i I've, I've talked about this with jamie genevieve before we were both in agreement that cult beauty kind of like have their finger on the pulse when it comes to what brands to stock they are so like i feel like they're a little bit ahead of the game and they've got brands like Tata Harper and um, Indie Lee. Also like favorites of mine, like by Terry as well. I tried to pick up my Lumi serum, but it was sold out. Obviously, it's always sold out. <laughs> so I've picked a load of new products that I'm gonna be trying, getting my routine locked. And I'm gonna be going through that with you this morning before I get ready for the day. And then, then I'm going to be unboxing my hen party dress as well, which is, um, really exciting. So all of my parcels have arrived and I've ripped open the Cult Beauty one and I've kind of sorted through the products as to what I'll use in the morning and sort of under makeup and then things that I would probably use at night. So things like the liquid gold with gly glycolic acid. I'm really getting into acids. And then these kinds of things like the Aura Mavitsa, um cleansing foam will also cross over into my evening skincare as well. If you look really closely, it's really funny. Look, brightening, illuminating, brightening, glow. <laughs> I literally bought everything with that in the name. Um, but yeah, let's run through what I'm gonna be using in the morning and how I'm gonna be using it. So I've got myself a clean flannel and I'm gonna be cleansing with the Aura Mavitsa cleansing foam. This is kind of like a creamy gel-like substance. I'll show you on the back of my hand. Foaming cleansers work really well with my skin because I used to have quite acne prone skin and they just always agree so well. If I use balm cleansers before this, I don't tend to get clogged pores. So um, I'm gonna be going in with this. And I cleanse first using the water in the bowl. And then I do a second cleanse using fresh running water so that I get rid of all of the dirt and sweat from the night before. My face always goes so red. <laughs> so I pop a bit on here, just a small amount like that. I like the way it doesn't like massively foam up either. Even though it says foaming cleanser, it's still nice and like gentle. Now I'm going to go in with the Indie Lee toner and I'm just going to grab a uh, cotton pad. I asked on Twitter for people to recommend products for me to get and so many people recommended this toner and I've just read on it that it's paraben free, phthalate, I don't know what that one is, sulfate free, artificial fragrance free and it's also not tested on animals. So ugh, I'm going to pop this on a con pad, 
Oh, it doesn't pour out as well. So you have like control. Great stuff. And I just swipe this all over my face. This has got hyaluronic acid in, which is something that I definitely need more of in my skincare routine. All over the neck. My eye cream is the By Terry Hydra Eclat Eye Contour and this is just nice and cooling and hydrating for my under eye area because that is where I definitely need hydration. <laughs> for my serum I'm using the Tata Harper Concentrated Brightening Serum and this says it's illuminating and tone correcting treatment and I can actually use this morning and night as well so pop some of this on. That's what two pumps look like. I'll just massage this into my fingertips. Oh, it smells really nice. It's not like overly perfumed. It's more like organic smelling. And I quite like that when it comes to face serums and creams, because they do have to sit on your face all day. That feels lovely to my neck. And then finally for my moisturiser, I am using the Tata Harper Illuminating Moisturiser because everything has to have a glow or an illumination of some sort. This is like pink. Oh wow. That definitely is an illuminating moisturiser. You can see, oh, it's so pretty. It's like pink. Looks like my bridesmaid dresses. You will have seen this product a million times. This is the By Terry Balm de Rose and this is what I prefer to use in the mornings. I'll probably use the um, Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream at night but because this is kind of like has a little bit of a sheen to it, this is really good for the days where you don't want to wear any makeup and you just kind of want to go bare faced. You can pop some of this on your lips and it's kind of the illuminating product for your lips like I'm using for my skin. <laughs> So that is my morning bridal skincare finished and I really, really liked those products and that's the kind of um, skincare routine that you can kind of just leave your skin after that. I don't think I'm going to put makeup on today. I think I might just leave it like this and um, let it all just soak in. I am going to pop some SPF on though because I'm going to be using a lot more acids over the next few months so I'm going to need to really protect my skin because that is so important. So I'm going to pop that on in a minute. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day without uh, makeup on. I might pop some By Terry Lumi Serum on which you can also get on Cult but it is sold out. And these are some of the products that I'm going to be using um, in the evenings. This you will have seen before. This is the Luna Sleep night oil I love this product if you want to get into retinol this is such a delicate way to do so and retinol I've said this before I think I even did a blog post about it it is the one ingredient that scientists and beauty professionals agree prevents the sign of aging so um, I'm I used this last night I've already got some open I thought I'd get some more and um, I was like, why did I stop using this? It is so good. Um, I love Sunday Riley stuff as well. This I haven't tried before. This was recommended by um, someone on Twitter. So many people tweeted me about the Alpha H liquid gold. So I got that and then I also got the night repair serum as well because so many people raved about this. So I wanted to try more from the brand. And then I got some bits from Pixie. This is the Flawless Beauty Primer. Quite a few people tweeted me about this product as well. And I got some more of the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. You guys know that I love this. And also, I got this. This is from The Ordinary and it's their Advanced Retinoid 2% and this will probably be quite intense. Um, I might try this. I don't know how it'll work on my skin but I'm gonna give it a go because this is quite a strong, um, this would be very harsh in comparison to Luna, so yeah. I'm a bit scared to use this one, but I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> I've just popped some of the By Terry Lumi Serum on just to give me a bit of colour. Um, but I realised some of these products are repeat purchases and products that I love. And some of them are products that are new and that I'm trying on your recommendation, on other bloggers' recommendations, and just things that I fancy to try. So what I'll do, I'll pop in the description box the items that I love and that I would recommend. And then also the products that... I am trying new because I wouldn't want you to get confused. I also have a discount code which is Lydia15 and that will get you 15% off orders over £25. There's also free shipping on orders over £40 until Thursday the 31st of August. And all terms and conditions can be found on the Cult Beauty website as well. So all of that is in the description box. All of the products listed are in the description box. And I am very, very excited to have glowy skin from now on and also have a proper routine. I'm very excited.
why is it whenever you have somewhere that you need to go and like it's a special occasion i can never find anything to wear but i think this was the last one of this dress and i haven't worn a dress like this in a very long time <laughs> um it's yeah I'm intrigued to know if it's as amazing in real life. I'm not sure. It looked a little bit see-through on um, the website. So it's from Louisa Viaroma. I wanted to wear white as well. I'm really running with this whole white bridal thing. Oh, it feels very, very well made. Crumbs. Okay, interesting. So it's from Jonathan Simkai, and you already know I'm a huge fan of Jonathan Simkai stuff. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. It's a bodycon dress, which, as I said, I've not worn a bodycon dress for a very, very long time. And um, it's got these kind of like mesh panels throughout the whole thing. So it's quite see through there. But it comes with a nude slip which doesn't look particularly covering, but maybe teamed underneath it will be. I don't know. Hopefully I've got a slip just in case, because <laughs> I don't want to be showing my pants. <laughs> well, should I try it on or should I save it for my hen party? Is that a bad thing? I don't think so. Look at this little sprout sticking up. But I'm gonna try it on and then I'm gonna make a decision as to whether I should show you or not. I think that's probably the best thing. Carrie? Carrie, come here! Hi! Oh my god, what's it? <laughs> Do you like it? You look fierce. I think I have to wear nude underwear or a better slip. Yeah, because I can see your pants. But they are black. They are black. Do you think I should show them in this video? Or do you think save no, it until my... You're not allowed to see. <laughs> <laughs> do you think save it until my hen? Save it. Absolutely yeah? save it. Oh my god, it looks... Because I showed them it out of it, but I didn't show it on. So I like unboxed it with them. No, keep it a surprise. Okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think... show it anyway. No, you can see the top of it, because you can see that it was high neck anyway. I think I'm going to save it until my hen party to actually show you what it looks like on. Because I've got to keep like some things a surprise. But um, I will link it down below if I find it, but you just can't see it on me. And I'd kind of, yeah, I'll show you when I've got like my makeup done, although I think I'm gonna wear a ponytail, I don't know. Not like this one, a nicer ponytail. Yeah, a nice ponytail. Yeah, cool. So I was about to leave the vlog there and I've watched it back whilst I'm editing it and I'm like, well, it's two weeks on now. I can actually probably tell you how I've got on with some of the products and um, tell you what I liked, if there's anything I haven't tried, if I didn't like anything and just kind of a bit of an update because it's all well and good me showing you the products, but um, I have just experienced such an amazing difference in my skin, especially my neck as well. Um, and I thought it's probably good to tell you about it. So I thought I'd update you really quickly, not to make this video any longer than it already is at 30 minutes. <laughs> so I have implemented both a new morning routine to my skin and a new evening routine. And to be quite honest, it didn't take very long, even like the first day. Like I think I did a, a morning routine and then an evening routine and then another morning routine. And I was like, wow, my skin is already completely different to, to what I was experiencing before and looked completely different as well. I feel, and I was quite confident with my skin before, now I'm even more, weirdly more confident. I feel like my skin to touch is so much more hydrated and like it feels plump. It looks much more like a better tone. I'm going to look at myself like I usually do. And my neck, I've been really sort of focusing on my neck um, because I get quite dry patches here. I, I do get, I usually get it on my face as well. Um, I think it's something to do with my pill. Um, and also when I sit down there, people say about the lines in my neck, it's just because I, I'm sat down and the, the window is positioned above me. So it makes it look like I've got lines on my neck, but really it's just the light. <laughs> Where I've really, really, really noticed a difference is I'm now using retinol creams in a way that they should be used. And that teamed with the Alpha H liquid gold um, lotion. I've been using that every other day on my skin and wow. 
like I, I just can't get over it. I am so, so much more like happy with the condition and the color of my skin and the, the like natural sort of highlights to it. I don't have any dry bits at the moment whatsoever which it's been quite a long time since I've had that like I literally would get my skin like peeling off I need to start doing my ears as well because I actually get dryness on my ears maybe I can do my skincare routine on my ears as well but yeah this is the first time I've seen a new routine impact my skin this much the introduction of acids and using them in the right way not just sort of oh maybe I should use them tonight or maybe I should use them once a week I don't really know now that I know the order to use them in how to use them and the products that actually work because obviously there are a lot of products out there that maybe don't work for me and work for other people but I found that the Sunday Riley Luna Serum, now that I'm using that properly, I'm seeing such a massive, massive difference. I mean, I used it once a week before. Now I'm using it every other night. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes two nights in a row. I haven't used the Ordinary yet. I'm still a bit scared to use that. So I do want to, to build myself up to that point. But at the moment, the results I am experiencing, I think they kind of speak for themselves. I'm just over the moon with the way my skin looks so so happy everything will be linked down below so all of the products that um i am repeat purchasing the products that were new and then i'll also put a star by the products that i've used and absolutely love so you can get a little bit of a code down there and then my discount code is live until the 31st so you can use it up until then but the um free worldwide shipping is valid all the time on orders over 40 pounds so um doesn't matter where you are in the world what time you can order and make the most of that offer. So I just wanted to make sure that you're aware of that again because I'm not sure whether I explained that right. Um, but yeah, I am getting on so well with my skincare and I actually gave some of the um, Luna Serum to Carrie as well and she is loving it too. So that's one that I would definitely, definitely suggest picking up, especially if you want to move into retinol. Um, but yeah, just feeling a lot more confident with my skin at the moment and um, gonna keep doing this routine until wedding day and probably afterwards as well but yeah so two weeks of using it and I am so happy so happy that these dry bits here have gone and the dry bits down the side of my mouth very very happy but I will see you in my next video all the information is in the description box as well so I'll pop everything so that it makes a lot more sense down there so do check it out bye